We all know the classics. Resident Evil, Silent Hill, even modern day mega hits like Dead Space and The Evil Within. But the survival horror genre is much larger than you may think, with many hidden gems left in the wake of these blockbuster franchises. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. At no cost to you, every new subscriber helps us reach our goal of 250 members, and we greatly appreciate it. With that being said, I'm your host Jamie, and here are 10 classic underrated horror games you may have missed. Number 1, Nocturne Released in 1999 on PC, it followed the trend of many early 90s survival horror classics with 3D models moving around the pre-rendered backgrounds. The controls unfortunately were not so great, even worse than the famous tank controls that the Resident Evil games boasted. However, the atmosphere and the story are quite amazing, centering around the stranger a government operative on a mission to investigate some supernatural events. There are four main cases, each ending with a battle against a classic monster, such as werewolves, zombies, and vampires. With all the advancements in PC technology since, if you've got a decent emulator, you can grab this game from several different websites and enjoy a trip through the gothic tale. Number 2. Kuan Brought to you by FromSoft, the studio behind the Souls games, and most recently, the mega-hit Elden Ring, released a spooky survival horror game in 2004 that revolves around three main characters in Japan's Heian period, during an outbreak of monsters in Kyoto. Most of the game happens inside Fujiwara Manor, kind of like the mansion in Resident Evil, and the gameplay is very similar, a fixed third-person camera against pre-rendered backgrounds. Again, much like other survival horror games of the era, the controls aren't the greatest. But once you get the hang of it, the story is engrossing and the characters are all unique, with plenty of brain-bending puzzles to keep you occupied for hours. Originally released on the PlayStation 2, if you can track down a copy, I suggest playing it as intended. But otherwise, you might be able to find an emulated version if you look hard enough. Number 3. Curse. The Eye of Isis. Developed by British studio Asylum Entertainment in 2003, it's often compared to games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. It takes place in the British Museum of Natural History in 1890, when a group of thugs have broken in and stolen the Eye of Isis, an ancient Egyptian relic. This causes a spooky fog to envelop the area transforming and killing anything it comes in contact with. You play as Victoria Sutton and Darian Dane, the head curator and archaeologist of the museum, and must fight through scary creatures and solve puzzles to finally destroy the source of the ancient evil. Originally released on Xbox, PlayStation 2, and PC, you can actually find this game on Steam for only $2.99, worth the money to check out if you're looking for an instant classic. Number 4. Obscure Released in 2005, you take control of five teenagers trapped in a school searching for their missing friend as unnatural events begin to unfold. Like Alan Wake, the creatures the teens face are sensitive to light, with direct sunlight being able to vanquish them. As they uncover evidence, it ultimately points to several students being experimented on by being injected with some sort of serum that turns them into monsters. The original intention is to create a concoction that grants immortality. What sets this game apart from the others is that it offers a two-player cooperative mode, allowing you to complete the game with a friend. It also has one of the earliest crafting systems in survival horror games, allowing you to combine objects such as a flashlight, tape, and a gun. Available for Xbox, PlayStation 2, and PC, you can find it on Steam for a mere $6.99. Number 5. The Ring, Terror's Realm Based on the Japanese horror film Ringu, the game was released on the Dreamcast in 2000 and sees you take control of Meg Rainman, 
a researcher at the CDC. Her boyfriend recently died under mysterious circumstances, and the only evidence is a file on his computer titled Ring. So Meg, of course, begins to investigate, and thus, the real terror begins. While it's no code Veronica if you're looking for a game in that similar style, this one should definitely make your list. That is, if you can find a copy. Number 6. The X-Files. Resist or Serve. Published by Vivendi in 2004 for the PlayStation 2, the game takes place during the seventh season of the titular series, presented as three new episodes in the continuity. You, of course, take controls of Agent Fox Mulder and Dana Scully as they investigate some mysterious deaths in Colorado, find alien artifacts, and eventually end up in Russia, where they discover an entire spaceship. Again, similar gameplay to the Resident Evil franchise, it boasts pretty stellar voice acting and music, even though its graphics were dated even back then. If you're a lover of all things X-Files, then you don't want to miss out on this game, as it is classed as being lost episodes and connect directly to the storyline leading into Season 8. Number 7, Carrier. Another survival horror game released solely on the Dreamcast. It was one of the first to be fully 3D, whereas most still use pre-rendered backgrounds up to this point. It did have a sequel planned for the PlayStation 2, but it was ultimately cancelled due to lack of interest in the initial title. Don't let that stop you though, an underappreciated gem as it ties heavily into real world events at the time before diving into a full blown mutant zombie apocalypse. Much more action packed than the typical survival horror, it implemented many new upgrades to the genre such as sight aiming, explosives, and infrared scopes that made playing the levels feel more tactical and fast paced. If you're looking for a game that feels like Metal Gear Solid had a baby with Resident Evil, then look no further. Number 8. Extermination Released in 2001 on the PlayStation 2, this game follows Marine, Dennis Riley, part of Team Red Light, on a mission to aid fellow soldiers at Fort Stewart after receiving a distress call. Of course, en route, the plane malfunctions and they crash, scattering the team and leaving you stranded. From then on, you must find and regroup with the missing members, battling all sorts of infected creatures along the way. This plays into the game's infection system, which sits alongside a conventional health bar, and if it reaches 100% infection, your health is immediately reduced to 60% and constantly depletes. Everything now does damage to you, and can only be remedied by a special machine called the MTS bed, which can be found in various areas of the game, like little safe spots. To use these beds though, you must track down the MTS vaccines, which are a limited item. If your health reaches zero while fully infected, you'll mutate into some horrific creature and instantly receive a game over. Some very cool concepts that if they did a remake of it today, would be really cool to see. So definitely check out this gem if you can get your hands on it. Number 9. Deep Fear Another Resident Evil clone, this time made for the Sega Saturn. It released in 1998, and is set entirely in an underwater research facility. In reverse to other entries on this list, this game doesn't feature a particularly engaging story or any great voice acting, but what it lacks in those departments, it makes up for in combat action, puzzles, and genuinely creepy music and atmosphere. A key mechanic in the game is that many of the areas have a limited air supply, setting you, as the player, on a constant timer to get things done and move on. Although you will have opportunities to resupply your oxygen at air system terminals. These terminals also serve as a save spot, giving you a moment to catch your breath in real life as well. If you've got a decent emulator, I highly recommend checking this one out, especially for fans of movies like 
underwater, and the abyss. Number 10, Cold Fear. Released in 2005, this game is more third-person shooter than it is survival horror. But that doesn't mean it isn't loaded with frights around every corner. Taking place on a Russian tanker ship, you control Tom Hansen, a member of the U.S. Coast Guard, and must fight through parasite-infested zombie-like mutants in order to stop the ship from reaching port. Unfortunately, it released around the time of Resident Evil 4, so it faded into obscurity pretty quickly, but it is actually a pretty enthralling horror game if you're looking to kill a few hours. One of the cool features is that, while on the ship, as the waves smash into it, it will rock from side to side, often sending crates and other objects all over the place, cutting off pathways and changing up combat scenarios in real time. The game also features one of the first stamina gauges, dubbed the resistance meter, which affect your ability to sprint, as well as if you happen to fall over the side of the ship, how long you can hold on and pull yourself back up. The one downside is there is no inventory, so whatever health packs you grab are used immediately, and you can only carry as much ammo as you can fit into whatever gun you're using. So it makes for a challenging trek throughout the tight corridors of the rusty old ship. You can find this game on Steam for $9.99, worth checking out if you're looking for a challenging but fun horror shooter. Thanks for checking out the video. What's your favorite horror game? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to tap that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. You can reach out to us on Twitter or X at Studios Bat, or chat with us on Discord, linked in the description. I've been your host, Jamie. Time to kick back and get spooky.